Okay, so welcome to day three then of week six, and we've got the culmination of the Royal Ascot meeting for you today, plus plenty of other action from across the country and over the water in America. So where do we start today? We start with the Queen's Ars, which is a two-mile event, a group three for three-year-olds, and we've got the unbeaten Jenna Lee from Thunderspark at the top of the picking order for that one. Editorial for Paul Rhodes, I Say Goodbye Now for Molly at Surfer, and Modern World for Carla Agante. All winners so far this season, so too Dominus for Leon Van Rensburg, and plenty of new ones in there as well making their first appearance so that should be an interesting enough start to the day we'll move on then to the seven furlong buckingham palace stakes which is a 0 to 110 handicap and the top white there is django's outback looking to bounce back with a victory after three close-up efforts kinky boots for darren thompson is the second in the weights but sick beats for hans jones and river prince for thunderspark look the main dangers Although Beaujou Blandior for Vinnie Gerard has won twice already this season and is still rating off a lowly mark of 89. The race after that one is the Chesham Stakes, a seven furlong listed open event for two year olds. We've got the unbeaten John Morgan horse Espiritu, which will be top of the picking order for that one. The River of Darren Thompson also in there with a chance that hasn't managed to hit the front in its last four starts. Black Magic for Joshua Sutherland was the winner last time out. Linksia Lacrians for Vinnie Gerard should also go close. There are plenty of newcomers in this as well, with Thunderspark having Primal Flux, Darren Howells having Mighty Loud and Rascallion for Paul Rhodes shouldn't be too far away either. The Hardwick Stakes over 12 furlongs is next, that's a Group 2 event for four year olds and upwards and Winged Rune is just the top rated in that rated £3 higher than Trev. Yeah, most, both of those are multiple winners. Cricket Head has been disappointing for Paul Rhodes so far this season, but he's sure to hit the target at some point. Meleni Bing for Molly at Surf has also won this season, so too's Bad Apple for Django and Jane Austen for David Robertson. The Sprinters are on show next for the Diamond Jubilee, a six furlong Group 1, and the unbeaten awesome music from the John Morgan Stable, six pound clear of the others. According to official ratings, Hollywood Thunderstruck is the only other one in the field to have won in its last four. So Sun Shiba and Wonderful Roses for Thunderspark and Steve. Ran will have to step up on their previous performances if they're going to get close to the favourite in that one. The Wokingham handicap follows that. That's a six furlong cavalry charge straight up the Ascot straight top hat is the top rated one for Django, although Lavi does for Darren Thompson, who's rated nine pound inferior, looks to have slightly better form. It's a wide open race as usual. If you scroll down a card, call over for Alex Cherry could be a lively outsider. So too could Noble Lord or Chief Singer for Darren Howells. The Duke of Edinburgh handicap is next. That's a one mile six furlong event for three year olds and upwards 0 to 90. So it should be a win for one of the lesser trainers here. Lyle Ash Kalani for Doug Warren was a winner last time out and that could go close. Portant for Daniel French is also a winner this season as is Zab Hill for Daniel French. But that looks a wide open race and anything could take that one. The final race of the meeting is the Queen Alex. Alexandra Stakes and Ascot, that's a two mile, five and a half furlong listed event, and there's only five in it. So, a very disappointing turnout for that, but that's, I think, because the red hot favourite Magical Retreat has scared everybody away. I expect that one to go off at unbackable odds. Warrior One is the only other winner in the field, and none of the big stables have got a debutant, so who would expect that to be a bit of a procession to end the royal meeting? So, a procession to start and a procession to end. That will conclude Ascot. After that, we'll nip across to Carlisle for a couple of maiden races and after that we'll be up to Hamilton to do something similar. Finally the week will end with the third leg of the American Triple Crown, the Belmont Stakes at Brooklyn one and a half miles of course, three year olds on the dirt smallish field but the top three look like they could provide us with a decent sort of race. Prosecutor for Steve Ran, Noise Zone for Darren Thompson and the Coliseum for Paul Rhodes. Django will be hoping that Portal Escapade will be able to get in there with a chance and Sirius Chill will be tilting at several windmills hoping to keep that prize in America with his Mossy. That's it then for week three. We had a good week and We'll see you all next time.